Hello everyone. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can use Microsoft Excel to figure out the rate of return that you must earn on your investment today so that it becomes a desired number into the future where you know exactly how many time periods uh, it is that you are uh, going out into the future. This will be best illustrated using this example. Let's suppose that you have $8,000 today, okay? So if I'm, uh, if I'm figuring out the different inputs that are given to me in the context of this formula, then the present value is given to me because that is $8,000. This is how much I have in the present, this today. I'm looking to save up to buy a $13,000 bike five years from now. Okay, so I'm going five years out into the future and what I'm interested in is that this $8,000 become $13,000 five years out into the future. So $13,000 would be my future value. And the question that is being posed is, what annual rate of return must you earn on your investment to achieve this goal? So in other words, how do you figure out this R? Now, uh, I know that I've sort of laid out this problem in which I'm separately entering these uh, numbers under future value, present value, T and R. You actually don't need to do this, but it's usually helpful for starters to do this so that you can appreciate you know, which formula it is that you need to use, what are the inputs that are given, and what is it that you need to do. Here, three of the inputs in this formula are given, and you want to figure out the fourth, which is the annual rate. And so it turns out that in, in Excel, you have this function called rate, so equal to and then rate, and then when you open the parentheses, uh, it asks you, you know, how many time periods it is that you're going out into the future? You say, well, five. And so you give the cell reference to this number right here. Uh, you could have entered five manually as well, but usually it's considered good practice to have these inputs laid out separately. So you can do this as well. You just give the cell reference, five. Uh, when you press comma, it asks you for a payment. Now, it turns out that in this problem, you are you shouldn't be concerned with this payment function because in Excel, payment is uh, any cash flow that you are either getting or you're paying on a regular basis. So if it were the case that you were depositing, uh, you know, regularly over the next five years, like 8,000, 8,000, 8,000, 8,000, 8,000, then we'd say that you're making a periodic payment. But in this case, that's not happening. You're making a one-time deposit of $8,000. So there is no payment over here. So you'd say, you'll say, ah, ignore this. So just press comma again. Now the next thing is present value. Present value, you know, is $8,000. And uh, one thing that you must ensure is that you must enter this uh, present value as a negative number. Why? Because you'll be dishing out $8,000. $8,000 is going to leave your pocket, so it's going to be an outflow. So one way in which you can enter this as a negative is just do negative 1 multiplied by $8,000. Now again, this is not necessary. You could have just written negative $8,000 here. That would have done the trick as well. But again, this is just considered good practice if you have these numbers laid out. Then if you press comma, and then the next thing that you have to enter is future value. Well, that's given as well, so just press this. Don't worry about type and guess. Um, I'll maybe talk to you about these in any uh, subsequent video. Here, they're not important. So now for a question like this, all you have to do now is just close the parentheses and when you press enter it says 0 0.10 now one thing that you can do is that you can sort of format the cells uh, so if I do format cells and uh, for number I'll just say correct two decimal places and may because this is a rate perhaps you want to see it as a percentage and so now when you press OK it shows you that the annual interest rate that you must earn on your investment is 10.20 in other words if every year for the next five years you earn 10.20 percent on your investment of eight thousand dollars by the end of five years you will have thirteen thousand dollars and so this is how you can determine the rate in Excel it's just invoking the rate functionality in Excel. 